I've been using Inside Tracker for about three years. One of the things that I like about Inside Tracker is that it's an app that lives in my phone and it allows me to stay familiar with all the key biometrics. Sad to say, the number one cause of death is cardiac failure, some sort of cardiovascular disease. Some of the markers that Inside Tracker keeps track of for me are my LDL, which is my low density lipoprotein particle, which is really critical to cardiovascular health. You want to keep that down as low as possible. And they recently added ApoB, which is really the key marker. And I'm looking at those all the time. You know, some of us know, we, we just know how much gas we've got, how much money we've got in the bank, or you know, what size our genes are. But how many people know off the top of their head what their LDL number is or what their ApoB number is? I do because I look at it all the time. And because I have my blood work run four times a year and I've been doing it for three years, I can chart this and I can see how the suggestions that Inside Tracker has given me has helped me keep those levels down. I think this is really critical. I think that if we can keep those levels down, we can cut down on the accumulation of plaques in our arteries that will eventually, if they get high enough, cause cardiovascular disease. This is something I feel it's really important to take advantage of things like Inside Tracker so that we can have agency within our health, so that we know where things are. It's not a mystery. Like, what I really don't like is you go to your doctor once a year, they run your labs once a year, and they, it's just sort of a pass fail. They're like, ah, yeah, you look okay, ah, yeah. And they're not really thinking about what can we do about this in terms of a dietary, in terms of behavior, exercise, supplements sort of way. They're waiting until we get into chronic disease. With Inside Tracker, we can help prevent that. We have agency. They will give you things that you can do behaviorally, exercise things, sleep suggestions, dietary suggestions, supplement suggestions, all of which which can keep those damaging lipid levels down as low as possible. This is what I think is so valuable about something like Inside Tracker is it brings the agency back to us. Like I know what those levels are. I know what my fasting glucose levels are. I know my A1C is 4.7. I just know that. Why do I know that? Because it's one of those things that I look at a lot inside my Inside Tracker app. Getting to know these levels, getting to know what's optimal and are you in optimal range, and then seeing these over a period of time, not once a year, but quarterly, because they move around actually a lot more than you would think. Now, my physician is my partner. When I go in there, I can say, hey, this is where the levels are at, this is what's going on. And, you know, physicians are amazing, but really what they're great at is disease treatment or trauma treatment. They're not so great at prevention. It's really hard. They've got a lot on their plates and understanding things like exercise and sleep and diet, nutrition, supplements, all these things, that's really outside of their remit. It's too much to ask them to do it. Inside Tracker becomes a partner here. It's one of the things that I look at all the time. I run my labs four times a year. I find that super helpful. One of the things uh, that I learned recently about running labs is you don't want to have other things in your body while these go on. And I found this out the hard way. I was having some issues with my knee. I had a cortisone type injection in my knee and you know, not thinking too clearly on this. I just didn't know any better. I ran my inside tracker labs a week later and they were bonkers. They were like way out of range and everything. It looked like it was another person. And I called my physician and I said, you know, what's going on here? Because the, the app said, call your physician, something's up here. And I told him about the cortisone injection. He's like, oh yeah, you wanna let that calm down for, you know, two, three, four weeks and then run something like Inside Tracker because that'll really throw things off. It really got my attention um, and I'll just run them again in another couple of weeks and we'll see if everything is back down in range. But something like that, getting a cortisone injection, some sort of systemic steroid like that, will really make a tremendous impact in things like your hormone levels, on your glucose levels, on your blood lipid levels in a way that I never knew and I truthfully only found out because I'm using Inside Tracker.